everybody and welcome back to another kitty video. It is 2024, a brand new year. And you know what that means. It is time to figure out what is in store. What is in store for me in 2024. And as we know, there is only one way to figure that out. That's right. It is time for some more BuzzFeed quizzes. Okay, so I have two quizzes that I have found on BuzzFeed to tell me, to show me what 2024 is going to bring, what is going to happen. So the first quiz I found was pick your favorite foods and we'll review your 2024 future. So let's just get right to it. I want to know what my 2024 future is. First, pick an appetizer. Shootery? Salad, sushi, or mozzarella sticks? Hmm, you know, I think shootery boards are always good. I mean, I do like them. Get a combination of things going on there. Salad, depends on the salad. Sushi's okay, but I don't know if sushi's an appetizer. I feel like sushi's more just like the meal for me. Or mozzarella sticks. Well, as you guys know, mozzarella sticks, ever since middle school, I've not been a big fan. There was there was a moment involving them and I'm not I just can't go with them. Salad, meh. Sushi, I do like sushi, but I think out of all these options, I have to go with the shootery. Which main course looks the best? Pasta, salad, burger, or pizza? Now this is a tough one. I mean, salad is out. Because salad, if anything, is the appetizer. Salad is not the main. Pasta, I do love some pasta. Burgers, I love burgers. Pizza, I love pizza. Huh. I think I gotta go burgers. I just, I feel like I flip flop on this stuff all the time, but I, th I just like a good old burger. Depending on the burger, like I like a good old burger. But I guess the question is what looks the best. You know, I, either way, I think I'm gonna go with the burger. What's a food you hate? Fast food. I mean, that's kind of like a broad category. Fish, Brussels sprouts, or olives. I mean, I'm gonna probably have to just go Brussels sprouts. I mean, fast food I do like. There's certain fast food places I don't like. Fish, I like fish. Olives, I got nothing against olives. So I guess Brussels sprouts. And honestly, I don't even hate Brussels sprouts. But out of all these options, if I had to get rid of one, it would be Brussels sprouts. Pick a cute dessert. Cake pops, cupcakes, strawberry shortcake, or macarons. I mean, I do love some cupcakes. So look at the cute little cupcakes. Strawberry shortcake. Mm. I, I'm just gonna go with cupcakes. What snack are you craving right now? Watermelon, chips, ice cream, chocolate chip cookies. I feel like this is a given. I'm always snacking on chips. Like chips are my go-to. I can always go for some chips. Last question. Would you ever go vegetarian? Well, that's kind of a question, isn't it? Yes, I've been thinking about it. I'd go pescatarian, not even if you paid me or I already am. I mean, I don't think I would. 
I mean, if you paid me, I might. Like, it's not that horrible of an option to go vegetarian. So, I mean, I feel like not even if you paid me is kind of a mean answer, but I feel like I have to go with that because I wouldn't. I mean, I haven't thought about it. I'll be honest, I have not thought about it. Never really crossed my mind. I already am. I'm not. And I'd go pescatarian. Meh. So, no. All right, you'll find your soulmate again, guys. I mean, 2023 didn't work out for me, so here we go. You'll find your true love soon and start a family. Your life will become a fairy tale of romance, happily ever after. Well, I mean, you guys were wrong last year, but you know what? Here's to hoping. Here is to good vibes, finding my soulmate. Let's, let's make it happen. 2024 is my year. All right then, so finding my soulmate sounds great. But now the next question is, what era is ahead of you in 2024? I wanna know, what is my era? Is it like my love era? I mean, I'm finding my soulmate, so let's find out. All right, pick a color that you want to represent your 2024. Red, yellow, pastels, orange, gray, or white. I mean, red seems angry. I'm not sure I want red. Gray, I don't know, I feel like I interpret gray with like darkness and sadness and depression and we don't want that it's 2024 we're going to be happy this is our year we're finding our soulmate yellow i mean yellow is a happy color but you know what honestly i kind of feel like pastels pastels just seem like fun fun colors a fun year right we're going with pastels okay what food item looks best to you fries donuts fruit platter pizza steak or ice cream um i mean fruit platter not really pizza always looks good ice cream i mean i do like ice cream but honestly the older I've gotten, the more I'm just like not into ice cream that much. Like, you know, I don't get excited about ice cream. Steak, I like steak, but again, it looks okay. But donuts, donuts always look good. Donuts always, I see a donut, I'm gonna be excited. I mean, donuts always look good. And those donuts in the picture look amazing. So we're gonna go donuts. Now pick a pet, a pet, I don't think it's an pet, that doesn't make any sense, but anyway, pick a pet animal that truly represents you. Cat, rabbit, parrot, rat, goldfish, or dog. I mean, cat, I feel like represent me in the sense that, you know, they can be kind of lazy and they kind of have an attitude. Rabbits, I mean, are just cute and lovable. Kind of lazy as well. I mean, I'm cute and lovable, right? Parrot, I don't know if a parrot represents me. A rat, I mean, I ain't no rat. A goldfish, I mean, I have the memory of a goldfish. Or a dog. I mean, dogs, you know, are fun and lovable and kind of lazy at times. You know, they sleep half the day and then have a bunch of energy for about a minute. So, what represents me? I feel like a dog represents me, right? Let me know. What do you think? What a, one, which one of these animals represents me? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. 
Okay, choose a song from 2023. Dance the Night by Dua Lipa. Kill Bill by SCA. I'm not sure what that is. How to Cry by Sam Smith. Used to be Young, Miley Cyrus. Rush by Troy Sivan. Or Paint the Town Red by Dojo Cat. I mean, honestly, I've only heard like two of these songs. <laughs> Out of those two songs, I would, I guess, have to go used to be Young by Miley Cyrus. I, I enjoy that song. All right, now pick a 2023 movie. The Super Mario Bros. movie. Cocaine Bear. It's a great, horrible movie. I love it. Barbie. Hunger Games. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Scream 6. Or Oppenheimer. I mean... I kind of almost want to go with Cocaine Bear just because it's like a horribly funny, stupid movie. Like, I hate it and love it. Barbie was an okay movie. But I, I gotta go with Super Mario Bros. movie. I mean, that was a pretty good, fun movie. I, I enjoyed it. Alright, lastly, pick an app. TikTok, Twitter, or X. LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, or Spotify. Oh, um, well, I still don't use TikTok. Still don't have a TikTok account. YouTube, I mean... Twitter, never use it. I should use it more. LinkedIn, never use it. Or Instagram. Instagram, I... I browse Instagram a lot. I don't, like, post on it, though, a lot. Or Spotify. I mean, Spotify I use quite a bit for, like, driving and stuff or if I'm just, you know, in the mood to listen to some music. But I feel like, again, given the circumstances, given what I like to do and what I like to even just chill and watch, it would be YouTube. All right. The Nice Era. Ah, uh, crap. I'm going to be single again this year. You're definitely not someone to be taken lightly. But get ready to embrace your nice era. Don't be surprised if you start hearing whispers of, Wow, they're so nice after every interaction. It's not about being a doormat. It's about rising above the drama. You couldn't care less about what people say behind your back or to your face. I mean, that is kind of true already. I mean, I think that just comes with old age. Like, you'll understand. The older you get, the more you're just like, I don't care. The more you realize whatever people are saying, you're just in control of your future and what you're doing that day, you know? People can say whatever they want. Like, here we are. I'm going to do YouTube. I don't care. I'm going to do what I do. You'll simply... You'll smile... You'll... <laughs> Words. You'll simply smile politely and walk away from all that negativity. You're always there for those who need you, and you'll flash a smile while gracefully telling others to piss off. Yes. Love it. You know what? They kind of turned that nice era into a great thing. I, I like the way they worded it. Like, you're going to be nice, but at the same time, you're going to be like, piss off. I, I like it. I mean, again, I feel like I've been in my nice era for way too long, and it's not working out. But I like what they're going for here. I mean, there is a line. Like, like they said, you know, not it's not about being a doormat. It's just about being happy and not caring, which I think is kind of what it comes down to. It's like, you know, in 2024, you just need to... Embrace you, you know, stop caring about all this crap Stop caring about what's going on Behind your back and just do you You know what, what makes you happy? Just be happy And yeah, just smile politely at people, I mean If you need to tell someone to piss off Do it with a smile So there you have it, there is my 2024 I, you know what? Overall, I like it. I mean, I'm still waiting for that soulmate from last year, but that's okay. In the nice era, I mean, 
I like what they were going for there. I mean, I think we do all need to be nicer without, yeah, being a doorman. It doesn't mean, you know, being a fucking ass kisser. You know, you don't need to please everyone. Just be nice. And yeah, don't worry about the drama. Just worry about you. Love yourself. Take care of yourself. And just smile. Be happy. So, you know what? I'm not disappointed. So, there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, what's a better way to start 2024 off than hitting that subscribe button? And let me know what you guys are hoping for in 2024. And just remember, I mean, BuzzFeed or whatnot, like it really comes down to just you. What you want in 2024 will come true if you make it happen. And just, I think the biggest thing is just focusing on yourself and doing what you want, doing what makes you happy, and then everything else just starts to fall in line. So thank you guys for watching. And as always, I will see you guys next time. Bye.